You ever wonder how uh, Daft Punk makes the uh, around the world noise or their vocal noises? How uh, Bon Jovi starts out living on a prayer? Or just a cool way to make a wah wah effect? You have a lot of control of your guitar. A good way to do this is a talk box. And I'm going to be showing you how to build one today. Um, really quick, the talk box is not auto tune. Auto tune is a computer program that uh, tweaks a recorded track and, and assigns it exactly on the pitches that make it a note. Um, and it's not a vocoder either. A vocoder basically filters out your voice to a specific uh, spectrum of frequencies and then modulates it. And that's what a vocoder does. Um, talk boxes are different. So what you have is you're going to have an amplifier it's going to amp up, it's going to run it, your sound through something called a horn driver used in PA systems and then um, through a tube into your mouth. Now to form words and things it's going to be kind of like talking with marbles in your mouth but with some work you get the hang of it. Make sure that your amp is unplugged before you do any of this. This is not the only way to build a talk box but this is the way I built mine. So, you need some tools. Soldering iron. Glue gun. I'm using to fasten things in place. Drill bin index. Good idea. Drill. Um, various other tools. Wire strippers. Um, test things out with alligator clippers before you get into it. Just to make sure that what you're planning is going to work. Um, solder for the soldering iron. You're going to need some plumber's tape. You don't have to have it, but I'm going to use it to seal things up and make it more airtight so the sound stays better contained. Plumber's tape just to keep things in place. Speaker wire. I wouldn't use anything smaller than a 12 gauge. This is an 18 gauge. It, it's uh, just what I had laying around. Some screws I'm going to use to fasten things in place. You could even use duct tape. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, wire nuts, and um, you could use electrical tape if that's all you had. Your horn driver. Now, I'm using one from a company, MCM, and I think the uh, Super Talker pre made talk boxes use these because they do a pretty good job. You, you don't have to use this one, it's just the one that I'm using. Um, they also, th this is their. Uh, 54050 model. Uh, it's pretty good and it goes about as loud as anyone would ever want to use a talk box. But they do make a uh, 60 watt, I think, model. But you have to have that one on layaway for a couple months um, waiting for it. Um, they're back ordered. But this one is more, does more than enough for what you need for a talk box. You don't have to go get that higher end one. A couple other various parts. Um, I'm going to make a sweet permanent setup with this toggle switch to where um, I can choose between my amp and standby or my talk box. Um, basically this is a three way on off on switch. Um, you need, now you can use 5 eighths tubing or half inch and that's outside diameter. I'm using half inch because it's a little bit smaller, a little bit easier to talk with. Now looking at half inch you might think that's not going to carry sound well enough but it does a fine job. Half inch does good. Probably want about 10 feet of that. Um, then you need uh, this piece. This piece brings it down from 1 and 3 eighths to I think it's just uh, sorry, one and three eighths to just uh, three eighths. Um, it's a good thing to have. And then also you're going to need a flex couple. Um, I think this is a one and a quarter piece. It works fine. It fits on there. Um, this is a, a double-ended hose barb. I think uh, three eighths because it's a three eighths diameter um, 
inside diameter is what your hose is. Half inch outside, three eighths inside. And then uh, this little adapter piece. Okay. Now, you might think why not just actually use plumbing fittings to fit all this together. But if you look, um, the horn driver has a, a finer thread on it than the standard plumbing fittings. And my grandpa does have a pipe making thread machine that I could use, but I don't want to go to that trouble. And this more than seals it up enough, especially if I use plumbing tape. Okay, one last object you're going to need is an amplifier. This is uh, not the biggest amplifier you'll ever see a talk box made out of. Um, anything smaller than this particular amp I would not use. It's because this is 15 watt. Um, anything bigger is fine to a point. Um, it's also, I believe it's 4 ohms and one particular thing you do have to check to make sure it's compatible is that your horn driver either has to have the same ohms and I'm not positive about watts or your horn driver can have higher ohms or you could mess it up or break it or some such thing okay I don't know what amp you have and I don't know how to take it apart but now would be your time to do so also I'll put a materials list in the description to kind of illustrate the idea that I'm showing here you have either your keyboard or guitar which runs into your amp your amps wire usually goes out to your speaker but you also want it to your talk box. I'm doing a dual system. So I'm going to have this one leg always constantly wired to both. The other leg when the switch is in center there's nothing going on. When the switch is down it connects these two and it has power to the talk box. When the switch is up it connects these two and you have power to your speaker. The way that my amp comes apart, and my amp by the way is a PV Rage 158 and it does have 4 ohms important because it needs to be lower or equal to my horn driver which can take 16 ohms when all checks out ahead of time I set this up with my alligator clips just to make sure that it sounded okay and that this amp was actually going to do the job for me I recommend you do the same.